a lot of social media is usually super toxic and not recommended for someone trying to build a business. However, if you follow the right people, I think you can actually learn a lot. And in today's video, I basically wanted to pass down some information that I found on Twitter on a brand that did over a million dollars in a single day with zero ads. So pretty crazy stuff. Most businesses nowadays rely really heavily on ads. So anytime you see a brand doing these kinds of numbers without any sort of ads, to me, it says, man, if you started running ads, you could really push that to 5 million a day. <laughs> Just kidding, but let's not waste any time and go right into it. So this Twitter thread is by Umar Shaikh, who is an email marketer. I'll leave the original thread in the description so that you can go like it and follow this guy. But let's get right into it. So how this brand did a million in a day without a single ad through the power of influencer branding and emails. So here's what the Clavio account looks like. The so total revenue was 800,000 and the revenue from Clavio was 36%. So almost 300K in just emails. So was this an established brand or a new brand? I guess the site was made on June 23rd and that's where everything began. So like literally a few weeks old. So a fresh, simple site, new forms, etc. However, we did have 60K email contacts from one of their past forms that we planned to leverage. So they used a different list to send emails to when they launched. Lead gen the right way. We set up a simple embedded form on their site. Influencers then made a story post to their millions of followers, getting them to sign up. We got 23K forms submitted with a form submit rate of 52%. So they're doing lead generation, which you can also do with paid ads, by the way. So you don't need influencers to rely on that. However, I see how the power of influencers could really help a big launch like this. I mean, people really trust and love the people that they follow. So what was the offer? They did just hit 2 million subscribers. So it was based around that. There was 17 items total in the collection, ranging from hoodies, tees, and shorts. So I'm guessing that this was a collaboration with an influencer. So a drop hype strategy. By day three, the form was at 42K contacts, maintaining that submit rate. So we were sitting at about 100K email contacts and 33,000 SMS contacts a day before the drop. That is crazy. Email rollout. We sent two emails prior to the drop. Email number one, 24 hours before, showing the collection product images. Email number two was one hour before the drop to the active subscribers with a limited 10% discount code. This resulted in some high revenue campaigns on launch. So as you see here, these campaigns were just completely crushing it, making multiple five figures just in email revenue alone. Now a drop time through the 24 hours prior to the drop, the influencer was pushing the drop time and offer to their community. As the time approached, 10K people were sitting on the site waiting. The overall results, within 30 minutes, we got to 620K and 200K of that came from email and SMS. By the end of the day, we did a million with 300K coming from emails and SMS. And yeah, all organic, not a single ad ran. Unbelievable, what a cool story. So really awesome piece of content right here. I had to share it with you guys, especially with such a big sensational number like that. Some takeaways that I got besides obviously the actual strategy for a drop is the power of partnering up with other people. If you saw my video on my $100 million plan, this is kind of part of my plan. I really want to build connections and businesses with the right people that would complement my skill set. So this sort of reinforces that idea idea, which I'm really happy about. But as always, I want to know what you think. What are your takeaways from this? Let me know exactly some of the things that you learned or some of the things you want to see on my channel, any podcast guests you want to see, whatever it is you want to comment. I'm always hyped to have conversations with you guys, but that's about it. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day and see you next time. Peace.